victory. I hear the cry of victory across our land. The old kingdom is almost restored and our warriors forget the feeling of defeat. But our enemies have begun to gather. The Greeks in the north are reeling, but they continue to muster their forces, hell-bent on pushing us back. In the south, Byzantium gathers, sworn to help their Greek friends. All around us, nations eye us with fear and disdain, looking for weakness, for opportunity. Can we survive a war on two fronts or three? Can we truly cement ourselves in these lands? Only time will tell. But for now, to battle, call on the blessing of Ares. Hi guys, welcome back to the Adrissian campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum 0.6.7, I believe we are on now. And I hope you're all doing fantastically well. And we are back with Adrissia. Yes, I cannot wait to get back into this campaign. It has been very, very fun so far, hasn't it, my friends? But we do have a battle to do. We fought against the Pontic Pentapolis a lot of times last time. Um, and we absolutely smashed them in most cases. So, I mean, the plan for today is to continue up the coast. The only worry with that is, of course, we are going to be bordering more factions than, like, the Gete, for example. Um, so, yeah, not too uh, interested in fighting the Gete. I think that would be hard for our roster to fight the horse archers of the Gete. But I think we'll be okay overall. We are still at war with Byzantion as well. We've got to remember that. Um, because, yeah, we, we don't have many, uh, many troops around, um, due to the fact that, of course, um, we are fighting in the north. So, let's see what we can do. We are going to jump into Mesembria to start with. I'll probably not show too much of this battle, guys, because, yeah, it's a tiny little siege battle. You guys don't need to see it. I'll probably just show the, re re the results. So, uh, let's get into it. Well, there we go, guys. We did actually lose more than them because we basically just, just broke the Thurio Foray at the end. But that is mainly because they had a very large General's Bodyguard. But overall, a really good battle. We only lost Long Spearmen mainly. We did lose a few uh, Romfire Foray, but mainly Long Spearmen. So a glorious little conquest nonetheless. Well, there is Mesembria, my friends. Let's enslave like usual. Let's also repair the walls here. And we are going to just leave behind the Long Spearman if we can. 70%, absolutely perfect. And we're going to go straight for the Belton. Now, we can actually assault the Belton straight away. Now, that would probably be an okay idea. How many turns is the Belton? Five turns. I kind of feel like we need these Long Spearmen as backup, honestly, unless we can get some Mercs because... Like I've said before, guys, the Romfire Foray are terrible against cavalry. So I think we'll wait at least a turn. Maybe they'll even sally out. I mean, I don't think they'll be confident enough to sally out. But I guess we can uh, we can find out as well. This is, um, Assembly is actually a decent uh, large town there for us too. And then we have Odessos. And we've got the other towns along the coast there but uh let's uh end the turn guys and let's see what happens well guys it's gonna be time for some bouncing because <laughs> god damn it byzantium they actually did come and attack us at busier which is uh, not the, not the best thing in the world i've got to say um but hopefully we can get to them before um they will actually siege it down i mean they've not built any rams yet so that means we do have to fight this at the Belton. Let's see what else we've got. Did we recruit anyone else? We did recruit some archers at Kabila. We'll probably use them in the Belton there. And we built a little bit of, of buildings. Well, I think we do this siege first to see whether we need to repair anything at the Belton. I'm really not looking forward to this. I feel like we're going to lose so many men because all of these are javelin cavalry or, or missile cavalry, like horse archers, skirmish cav, Pionian cavalry. Noble Cavalry. I'm pretty sure the Pionians are Javelins as well. So, yeah. It is all all, um, all missile troops apart from their general. And, uh, yeah, we, we really don't have much to, uh, to combat that. So, these guys are terrible against missiles because of their low armor. 
Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. I mean, the main thing is just getting the missile cav to fight us, so, rather than standing off. So, let's go. The day has dawned. Grim and terrible. Grim. much more terrible to be facing us, the sons of Hercules, Achilles, and Zeus. Even now, fear must weaken the bowels of our foes. Well, normally I love these open battle maps in sieges because they're just so much more fun to fight on. Um, but when we're faced with uh, enemies such as these, no, we, we really don't like them. Um, I mean, the main thing is just going to be catching all this cavalry if we can. So, yeah, let's uh, get you guys in ASAP and then we're going to have to uh, bring these boys forward too. Come on, boys. Let's get into the action then. <laughs> well, we should be easy to beat the Prodromoi over here. So, I'm thinking, honestly, of just getting these guys in to fight these boys. That is the, the Thracian Noble Cavalry, which is never going to be fun to fight in a million years. But we are just going to have to fight it. <sighs> this is just tough. This is really tough. Um, like I say, it's it's not going to be fun fighting, in, fighting these guys. Luckily, they do have... Oh, no, their horse archers are down here somewhere. Where be the horse archers, my friends? That's the Dacian Skirmisher Cavalry. Where are the horse archers? I'm sure they had horse archers. But I'm so confused. Is it the, the Skirmisher I could have sworn they had horse archers. I'm so confused. But anyway, it's it's fine. And this is, quite frankly, a mess right now. But there's really not much we can do about it. We've just got to uh, rush in there just to try and get rid of all of their arrows. Oh, there's the horse archers. I, I don't think we could see them before. <laughs> but there goes the Prodromoi instantly breaking. Good. Now I think we should probably try to organize slightly better than what we've just done there. Because that was just chaos. <laughs> Um, and we need the long spearmen at the front. That that's the main thing. Get the let the long spearmen take all the damage here. But looks like they're just coming for charging constantly. I mean, that is fine. We're against Nicaretos the playwright as well, who is I'm pretty sure their faction leader is he not? So Roygos versus Nicaretos. That is uh, very nice indeed. Um, so what's that one there? That's the horse archers. If you guys go and take them on. I'm hoping we can, you know, destroy a lot of these guys just with our cavalry. Um, and then maybe we can destroy them too. I didn't mean to do that. Just get, come, come forward, guys. Fire some jabbies. Just do something. <laughs> Rather than just taking losses here. I still think we've got enough to do a lot of damage. So here we go, though. Here we go. Straight into the action. Straight into the uh, Thracian Noble Cavalry. Which, of course, are a fantastic unit, as we all know. Um, and then we need to go fight his general too. I think once that's done, we are basically, you know, going to win this battle. But this is horrible. This is just horrible. Like, this is, unfortunately, the lack of tactics we had to use is because the, the, the amount of missile troops they had. We just literally just needed to charge in. And we're going to take a lot of losses, but a lot less losses than if we took this cautiously and, you know, did formations all over the place. Well, there goes Nicaretos. That is fantastic for us. So uh, now we can go kill that Thracian Noble Cavalry. I'm going to keep all my guys on fire at will the whole time too. Kill all of these guys before they get to the town square, honestly. Then we'll go after the horse archers. The rest of you, just pile on in, my friends. Just pile on in. Pile on. Everyone go before they start firing more missiles. And we'll go kill their horse archers there. There, very good. They already broke. Nice, nice. That is quite good. I mean, our generals are just so OP that that is an amazing thing. Guys, can you, like, do what I asked? That would be good. It's always good when you do what I asked, rather than fucking around. <laughs> uh, and then I think we'll just, like, chill with our guys back here for now. We can let these boys deal with it. I don't want to lose a general to, like, just pointless nothingness over here, whatever this mess is. But it looks like they want to scrap anyway. 
Uh, oh, whatever. Just go and scrap. Just go and have a good time, my friends. Just go and have a good time. There's not much left in here, so... Ah, oh, yeah, this is just chaos. This is just horrible, horrible chaos. <laughs> well, there we go, guys. We actually didn't lose as many men as I thought. It just seemed like we were losing a lot of men because of the chaos. <laughs> But it, it wasn't too bad in the end. The Royal Bodyguards do 98 kills is pretty banging for a siege battle, honestly. <laughs> but overall, just, just a chaotic battle. But that's what it needed to be. So we won in the end. We've retaken the belt on. And now we have to go all the way down south to fight Byzantion. Great. I think we'll honestly just take out Byzantion at this point. And let us just occupy the belt on. Because obviously we did occupy that before. Let's... Uh, get all of that down there and then it was like these two units that couldn't move very far so we can actually get all the way to byzantion already if we leave those two units you will come back along you are going to be freshly trained next time and in fact we'll take you and then we'll pop you into the belton and your belt the belton's still plenty happy we are going to get siege down up here guys um Honestly, though, what is that? That doesn't look like it's very good. Do we have mercenaries available? No, no mercenaries. I don't want to lose a general over here. That's the one thing. Um, but I'm not averse to taking these boys out. I uh, know. Oh, I misclicked. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Well, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to run away if they do attack there. Um, but if they don't, that's fine. We'll just move them back. Like I say, we've taken these lands. If they want to come back and you know take them back that's fine we've taken enough of it um for us to have really kind of crippled them now honestly i would like byzantium to take Byzanthe. that gives us another easy battle there and we'll just try and take everything do they have do we have any agents we have no agents what i'm thinking of doing is getting a diplomat do we have anywhere we could get a spy uh no doesn't look like it unfortunately we need those markets up and running not even over here what about at one of these areas maybe they've got um the trader up and running no oh we do fantastic we've got one spy good good <laughs> so we're gonna get those agents in there let us go for this battle though honestly oh my god so much missile troops again oh, i forget about the byzantine epibartite they've got long-range missiles they're slingers I honestly feel like we could just run through this army, but let's go. <laughs> well, luckily, we are, like, on top of the hill, so that's pretty good for us. Like I say, I feel like we could just run our cavalry through this army and win, but um, we're not going to do that because we still might lose. Apparently, we can't even see them, so they must be hiding over this little, this little knob here. Um... What? I, I hate it when they do this. Like, why? Just fucking set up opposite us. Don't do this stupid stuff. Oh, my God. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll see you in a second when we're a bit closer to them. Now we're in striking range, guys. Let's run forward. We're going to get all of our guys on fire at will. And I think we, we're going to absolutely destroy them here. Um, Yeah, we're, we're going to destroy them. It's just we're going to take a lot of losses due to missiles once again. Who would have thought fighting the Greeks we'd be, you know, fighting so many missile troops? I mean, obviously, a lot of Greek rosters did do a lot of skirmishing. But I'd more expect it from the Thracians and from the uh, the Illyrians, really. Um, I was expecting a bit more infantry that the Greeks might have. But no, decidedly, they are not too into the infantry right now, are they? These, these people were fighting. So we have to go and take all the losses here. How are you not firing? Are you going to fire? Zista 4 or you should absolutely die. Right, come on, boys. Let's get into this fight here. You guys go and chase them. And we are just going to get our cavalry in the action because... Like, the, the Epibarti are a little bit annoying to kill. But we should still be able to kill them relatively easily. And there goes their general. That was a Zista 4 or unit. Um, so hopefully we can now, like, break everyone. Oh, they're already breaking. They're already breaking. It's just chaos. It's chaos. Once again, my friends. Chaos once again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Just a lot of these battles are going to be like this, I feel. <laughs> because of the amount of troops routing and all of that sort of thing. Who is not routing? It's just you guys. 
Well, everyone else is routing. Oh, apart from those those um, Prodromoy, of course. Uh, but yeah, I'm not bothered about chasing them down. Who 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 wants to chase a Prodromoy down? Let's be honest, absolutely nobody. Uh, but there we go. We got Greek Pelzas. Come on, you gotta break, my friends. Are you gonna break or what? No, you're just gonna fucking fight. Oh, well, that's annoying. Uh, we'll try and break you. We've probably done this the wrong way around. I probably should have sent these guys out to fight. Uh, could do with some of you guys coming down. See, this should be a better charge. It was still absolutely crap. You are awful, Ben. You are awful. Get out of there. I know well, they're not designed to charge, to be fair. <laughs> uh, but hopefully we still have enough space on the battlefield to get rid of all of these boys. Let's go. Well, there we go, guys. We should have fully destroyed Captain Ayason's um, army there. Very nice. We took 112 losses, so we are slowly dwindling down. But I'm hoping we can, you know, knock Byzantium back without having to retrain. Luckily, we are very close to Adrissa, so if we do need to retrain, that'll be fine. But let's get off this battlefield. What I'm actually going to do here, guys, is a bit of a nine-head move. It is, we're going to go siege down Celembria here. And we can actually see uh, Byzantium over there. And we're going to pop the army into there too. Get those rams in there. We're not going to siege down Perinthos because I don't want to distract them. I don't want the AI to be distracted. <laughs> I want the AI to siege down Bisanthe for us so then we can. I know uh, for, for a fact at some point Kizikus and Kios are going to invade us. Because they just always do. They love to do that. They love to come and invade someone over here. Get completely whacked and do nothing. Like, <laughs> it's so weird. But that is, for some reason, the AI just loves to do that. Anyway, let's, uh, we are still recruiting there. We're not recruiting here. Let's carry on with recruiting these archers. Um, we're still recruiting there. Is there anything else we want to build? Really, really majorly. I mean, the mines would just be lovely. Yeah, do we have any corruption in Philippopolis? We do have a tiny bit. It, it's a, it's genuinely marginal, though. Like, for example, I think 5% law would sort this. Mm, nearly all the way, nearly all the way. So we, we're slightly... We're, we're on about 8% corruption or 7% corruption or something like that. So, yeah, we'll go for the mines. It's going to add a little bit, little bit of corruption, but it's going to add a load of cash as well. Anyway, let's end the turn, guys. Let's see what Byzantium does here. And also, of course, what Pontic Pentapolis does. You never know. They might have some filthy large armies up there. But <laughs> I, I really hope they don't. And the glorious Galatians who we are at war with. I mean, I'm calling them glorious when I really shouldn't because they are probably the people that um, sacked Suthopolis back in the day want a ceasefire but yeah the terrible galatians but Our we'll friends. we'll accept it <laughs> we'll accept would you like some trade rights my friends oh proposal. fantastic now tylus wants trade rights which i think we know what that means guys doesn't it Our thanks. uh maybe an alliance i'll give you map information we have some of that well then guys let's take Celembria over here we're just going to auto resolve apparently 126 losses that is a load of bollocks but anyway it's fine. And I do think we will go and back and retrain now. Um, we'll leave behind a... Ooh. We'll leave behind that guy if we can get away with it. So let's get you into there. There we go. They're plenty happy. Um, and apparently we damaged the uh, practice range somehow. And we're just going to go back to Adrissa. We're going to calm down for a second. Our army is starting to get relatively decently sized. I wouldn't say great but uh <laughs> it's okay we'll start by filling up a few of these guys so that we can uh, retrain everyone all at once there we go fantastic and who do we want next though i think we'll train another do we want another hippocontus die i think so we've we've seen how good the light cavalry uh, can really be anything interesting on here then diplomatic information well the antagonist at war with ellis is kind of weird don't normally see that so either the ellis has got massive or the antigonids have just absolutely ruffle stomped the peloponnese but either way interesting enough um yeah i don't really care about any of that yeah that's all fine cool we we of course had a ceasefire and there we have corolopolis upgrading very nice that's fantastic uh, we got mines in Suthopolis. Awesome. So now we're going to have three areas with mines because Adrissa has them as well, I believe. 
Yeah, well, they will do it next turn. Good. Very good indeed. Very, very good indeed. Um, and, of course, we're not uh, recruiting anything in Suthopolis as of yet. Looks like the uh, Pontic Pentapolis was scared of our singular unit of 37 mercenary Romfire Foroi. Um, which is a good sign. <laughs> I'm hoping Byzantium is going to take Byzantium. Oh, they have they taken Byzantium? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's still Rebel. It's still Rebel. We should actually have our guys now, though. Yes. Good, 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 good. Let's go uh, talk to some people, like the Thracians. Wow. Elias. We can actually talk to people now. Apparently, they don't want a trade agreement. How about trade rights with these boys? Most generous An alliance, maybe? No, no one wants an alliance with us. <laughs> I'm going to keep them around here because I'm hoping we can... Uh, oh, well, I did want to keep them around here, but it, it doesn't look like we can do anything. I don't like the Seleucids having two full stacks there as well. That could literally end the campaign. Um, uh, Do we want to have a look down here? No, I think we go north. I think we have a look at what's going on with Pontic Pentapolis. So they do... They have gathered another army up together. That's fine, but we know how easily we can destroy those armies. Histria, of course, is up here. Tylus is besieging down the Gete. Um, and Histria, Histria is expanding a bit, so we will have to take those guys out. But north of here, yeah, is all rebels. So once we get up to um, the basin up here, we will be able to do, like, we'll be able to just basically end our expansion in the north. And if we can take out the Gete and Tylus will obviously be very large by that point. That's a few episodes down the line. Um, like, we'll be in a very good spot. But overall, I think we're in a good spot anyway. So let's end the turn, guys. And Nossos is destroyed. Don't care. But uh, we've got our army ready to go again now. Let's go. And they can go very far, actually. Hmm. Where's our, where's our big Diplo boy? Where did he go? Did he die? How did he die? He's been he's been bribed. Oh, great. Um, well, what I'm thinking then is we're gonna spend a little bit of cash. Just gonna do that. Now we can see a lot better. Huh. Yeah. How many men do they have in Bisanthe? Quite a few. Hmm. Could go and attack this boy, and we can't actually siege that down. Oh, that's really painful. That is really painful because that means. That we will have to go and attack this army, which I really don't want to do. Unless they're all cavalry, actually. Let's have a look. No, they're not all cavalry. It's going to take them a few turns to build a ram, though. Definitely. Um, but yeah. Adrissa now got the mines, which is fantastic. Um, and we can, again, start training in here. I'm just going to save up a few of these guys as garrison troops for later down the line. Um, and then in Adrissa, let's get the trader. I can't believe we've not got a trader in Adrissa. That is kind of sad let's get a trader over here and let's see where else we can build we've not built in a lot of places because we have of course focused on our military now do we want roads i think everywhere we've got roads is useful at the moment i don't think coralopolis would be too useful to have roads so let's just build farms instead land clearance in suthopolis we don't even have that there um and then yeah we want useful buildings so probably one of those and then, okay, we can... Do we need that in our Kylos? No, let's let's get some money from this place. We're, we're probably never going to build a recruitment hub at a Kylos. So we might as well take the money. I will actually go through all of them at one stage. And delete the, the, delete the military buildings that I don't think are useful to us um, in a lot of places. But for now, I think that's a good amount of building. So, yeah... I think we're still good. Let's uh, let's again end the turn, guys. Well, the Thracians are going to attack us. Great. I'm no, we're much. not giving you money, Thracians. Go away. <laughs> and we did get sieged down by Kabile. <sighs> Everyone loves to belt on, apparently. Like, why? It's got the tiniest amount. Why go not go and siege down Suthopolis or something? Let's gather. Let's gather a few men. <laughs> Is it enough to defend against that? I don't know. But uh yeah, let's gather let's gather the boys together. The jolly, the jolly Thracian boys. <laughs> Dev they got a ram. They've got a ram already. Wow. Wow wow wow. That's um That's interesting. I, I mean I wasn't expecting that, but 
I mean, we'll do that. And then I think what we'll do... I mean, I'll we'll leave that army. I'd rather fight them all together in a big battle because we can do so much more damage all at once. And like, basically just wipe them, from, wipe the floor with them. So let's go for Perinthos. Should be nice and easy. What I'm really hoping is that they bring this army out to come and face us. I mean, it looks very strong, our army, on paper. But that's mainly just because, of course, the Romfire 4 are just absolute beasts. Um, but apart from that, <laughs> it's not that strong. Um, so, yeah. It's not like we've got elite troops or anything. Interestingly enough, though, what 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 do we get? Do we just get the sicker cavalry, don't we? 75 turns. I have looked at that before. How many turns are we in now? Oh, 18 turns. Oh, that, that is, that is going to be a long time away, my friends. <laughs> a long time away. So I think this turn, what we'll do is use our money for building Madu Tenopolis. I mean, it would be nice to connect these lands, but I think we just go for the Shrine of Dionysus. Yeah, we don't need any of the other shrines. Let's go for that. We'll also go for the Dionysus over here. Uh, and Kylos. I mean, building roads in Ankylos is kind of pointless. It's so small. Um, and then Bizia, which is actually a decent place. Like, Bizia is a decent town for us. <laughs> when I say decent, <laughs> I mean decent for us. It's not good. <laughs> Um, and I think we go for the tavern. Taverns are very good. Taverns taverns are fantastic. If, it, if you haven't heard, guys, taverns are just excellent. In general, I'm not, I'm not talking about the game. I'm just talking about in general. Go in and have a bit of mead with the boys. You know, start dancing in uh, in your uh, linothorax. Nothing else. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant times. But anyway, let's end the turn on that note. A candidate for adoption, my friends. Very nice indeed. We absolutely want to take that. And he has come into Adrissa. So let us go and garrison one of these better towns. It will most likely be Celembria. No, oh my god. Celembria is tiny. I thought Celembria was bigger than that. But no, Celembria is tiny. They have just left their troops in Byzanthe. We have got siege down by these boys up in the north. Um, I'm not too bothered about that. I don't, don't think that's going to be too difficult to beat. Depends on whether they bring a lot more men. Uh, I've got the feeling that this campaign is basically just about mopping up <laughs> at the minute. Like, we've got Kabila here that we need to get rid of them. Let's go and bring our spy down this way. I want to see how big the Gete have become. Like, how big are they? They're all the way out to there. So, ultimately, I don't really want to fight the Gete or Tylus at this point. Because Tylus has expanded quite a bit too. But I would like to take out Kabila because, of course, we are enemies with them. I'd like to take out Byzantium because, of course, we're enemies with them. And Pontic Pentapolis. I mean, Pontic Pentapolis is all the way up to there. But they only have, what, four more cities? That's not too bad. Same for Byzantium. So if we can just kind of keep scrambling our defense, we should be okay. It's if, like, the Seleucids or the Thracians attack us as well. Then it's just panic stations and we have to just blitz as fast as we can. Like, we just need to stop thinking and just blitz. Um, but anyway... Oh, it, ooh, 24. <laughs> and again, let's enslave. Um, and that has allowed Diopolis to expand. So let's uh, pop that in there. I know it's a waste of money this turn, but it's just so I don't forget it. Um, and again, Perinthos, probably never going to build a recruitment hub here. So when we have a Drissa so close by. So let's, uh, let's destroy those buildings. They don't even have land clearance here. That is embarrassing, boys. That is embarrassing. Let's leave behind a singular Thracian Peltast. I think we'll go... Like, we'll attack these boys. And then we'll attack these boys. And then I'll probably just run them down. What do they have? Yeah, that's that's a job for the cavalry, boys. Well, I know I said it's a fine day for the cavalry, guys. But uh, look at this battle map. Not a fine battle map for the cavalry, but... Who cares? We'll go and smash them anyway. Well, we're just going straight in on the time six speed. There we go. Straight into these boys. We should break them pretty quickly. How has it taken so long to break you, you fucking idiots? Now we'll go and kill these boys. There we go. That was easy. Very nice. 
And uh, what do we have? We've got these boys coming now. So let's just uh, calm down a little bit, set up, and uh, relax, rest our troops slightly. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to rest them at all because the Prodromoi are here. We have a load of Javis too. So it uh, looks like they're just going to charge straight in. Guys, charge. Did I tell you to charge or not? I'm pretty sure I told you to charge. Not stop to fire your javins. Javins? Your javelins. <laughs> they got me so annoyed that I can't even say javelin. Very good. And then we'll just go into the Greek slingers. That, uh, yeah. It's one for the cavalry, like I said. Well, there we go. They shouldn't be coming back. Just wiped a few of them off the map. Very nice. So I think with this army, let's go straight for Byzantion. There's only three units in there. Oh, what is that? Is that just a standard Zissa 4, right? Yes, it is. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad to fight. My plan with the Diplomat guys was to take Chalcodon to wipe out Byzantion and sell it to um, Bithynia for an alliance. But it looks like we're not going to be able to do that because the uh, Diplomat got bribed. So, always fun. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, bring this guy into Perinthos. That should be a nice little city for us. And apparently they don't like him at all. Yeah, what, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you, my friend? What is wrong with you? You have a lot of valor. You've got good taxes, construction, but also some unrest. So I'm assuming that's what's wrong with you. But uh, Perinthos should be a nice little town for us going forward. But let's uh, let's do our building then again. It's, it's just therapeutic when you're this small, isn't it, guys? Not having to build so much everywhere. Um, Adrissa. Oh, I thought... Were, were we not... I mean, I know the mine's built, but are we not building something else? Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that uh, population growth, mainly from slavery, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, let's go for the market there, then. Unless there's anything military that we want to build. No, apart from maybe the blacksmith after this. Suthopolis, let's go for the trader because it's cheap and it provides income. Philippopolis will go for the market as well. And then that is everything, isn't it? Cool. Well, I think we're, you know, we're just having a good time, aren't we, guys? We're chilling. We've not had anything crazy happen yet. It's just annoying having to bounce back in between these guys. I'm just very worried that those two massive Seleucid armies were just basically on the way to us because we're playing on hard campaign difficulty. But because <sighs> the thing is, if we if we lose a Drissa, guys, this campaign is basically forfeit. There is no point playing anymore, especially with the uh, the way the current re recruitment system works. Like there would just be honestly be no point in playing on because it's, it's our only recruitment hub where we can actually recruit anything of worth. So. And it would get destroyed. So, yeah. It, it would be terrible. But uh, let, let's see what we can do um, at the end here. Well, Pionia wants an alliance and trade rights for 600 denarii for two turns. 1,200 for an alliance. Honestly, that is oh, not thanks. bad. I am willing to accept that 100%. Ah, well done, AI. They actually managed to knock our people away. So, we are going to retreat. Oh, dear. That's not what we wanted. What I'm going to do is just auto-resolve this, I think. Although, could we win this? Could we win this? I mean, we've got a general coming in. I feel like we can give this a good go, you know. Let's go. Let's go. Well, let's set up close to the right, close to our general who's coming in. So uh, what I'm going to try and do with these two cavalry units, we've got our guys in Skilltron, by the way. Um, what I'm going to try and do with uh, the archers is bait the general towards us. See if he will uh, take the bait and come and charge us. Um, and then we're going to meet him with our cavalry. Uh, I think that's the only sensible plan, honestly. Um, I don't think we can beat his general, though. How many does he have? He has 39. We're going to have to use a lot of javelins on him first. Because obviously, remember, he does not have javelins in his cavalry unit. So let's go with that. Let's also go with these guys trying to fire javelins at him. So let's see if we can uh, fire enough javies at, uh, fire enough ar arrows and javies at these boys to whittle them down. And then it'll be a case of just getting the Greek hoplites into the skill trom of these boys. So let's see what we can do here. Obviously got these guys on skirmish mode. 
So they will run away. And look at that. We're already starting to shred them. Already starting to shred them. Very nice. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go, 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 guys. Go, go, go. And then once we're more powerful than them, we will charge them. Uh, go, 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 guys, guys, go, go. You, you guys go too. Go. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Come on. And then we're going to get these guys over here. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I think we can do this now. He's got 18. But marginally less than us. These guys are going to run into the skill trump. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. I think we go for it. I think we go for it. I think we go for it. Turn. Oh, that was terrible. That was not good. Lots of javelins flying. What are you doing, guys? That was the worst charge I've ever seen. But at least their general's there. Once he dies, they should break. I think we're going to win. Uh, at least that engagement. <laughs> yeah, fire at them. And then when we're in a good position, once these guys are in... Ah, there we go. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That is what I am talking about. Let's see how well these boys do. They're steady at the moment. They're steady at the moment. They say defeat is a distinct possibility. Especially once the javelins start coming in. But uh, once these guys have charged in, we're going to get the archers round the flanks. Like the cavalry. And the cavalry can go out the back. Come on, archers. You are very slow, you know. Like for Thracian units that are normally incredibly fast, you are slow for an archer, I've got to say. Let's get these guys here. I think that'd be... No, in fact, here would be even better. Go, 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 men, go. This is, like, time critical right now. I'm just going to let the uh, archers pick them off for a little bit, weaken them. And I want you to fire. Come on, boys, and let's see how much damage they do. Firing in the back. Quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Let's tell them to fire at the 304, see if they do anything different. Honestly, they want to be, like, more here. So, let's do that. And now fire. Now let's see how much damage they do. Oh, my God. Amazing. We don't even need to charge in. Look at that. I think we can do one charge now and we win. The wrong people. Wrong people. These guys. These guys. Yes. Yes. Come on, boys. What a glorious little battle. Awesome. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I meant to press continue. Uh, but hopefully that will send... Them. Look at the archers. 154 kills. Wow. <laughs> the long spearman, yeah, did take a lot of damage. But, you know, what can you do? Glorious. And we actually got a man of the hour from that. I... Yes, and it did, it did complete. Glorious. Dernaios. What a man. Blooded commander. Yes, that's what we're talking about. What a boy. Let's get you in there. I'll get the whole army in there, should I say. I'm not too bothered if we lose this. Uh, probably will next turn, but that's okay. Although, what do they have? Have they got two armies? I mean, we could probably beat that again. Hmm. Uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, we got to take out Byzantium as well. So... Yeah, that's just going to be a pain. <laughs> that is going to be a pain. And also, they've obviously decided to siege down Bizia because everyone loves to belt on and Bizia, apparently. Those are the settlements that they love most of all. I mean, if we took all of these men, plus the two units in there, it's that. Like, I don't... Like, let's, let's see what they have. So they've got... An Akontistai and Greek Slinger, that is nothing. A Greek Hoplite. So that army is pointless. Getic Light Infantry. Another goddamn... Like, because we're killing their faction... Um, their faction members so quickly. They're, they're, they keep making new leaders. Which is giving them loads of... Loads of men. Two Progemoys as well. Oh, I really don't want to have to deal with those two Progemoys. Hmm. I wonder if there is now... Mercenaries... How about across here? No. There is not. Ah, well. It's not a not an enticing proposition, I've got to say. Let's come in down here to have a look. My 
God, Seleucids. What are you doing, man? This, see, this is what scares me. This really scares me. Like, why do the Seleucids have a full army there with Chalcospedes, with elephants, when they should be fighting Bithynia, they should be fighting the Ptolemies, and all of these little guys here to unify Anatolia. But no, they're going to focus on us. Like, mark my words, guys. Trust me. They're going to fucking focus on us because we're not the AI. Like, they're going to send an elephant army to us. And I will not be salty about it. <laughs> right then, let's uh, <laughs> let's get on to Byzantium. I'll probably just um, not really... Ah, there we go. 126. Yeah, screw these little sieges now. Who cares about them? Um, right. And again, unless Byzantium has something interesting proposition-wise... I mean, the Epibarti are not awful. But they're not fantastic either. So, yeah, let's get rid of the uh, military buildings here. Get us some extra money. That's going to be very helpful. Very, very helpful. So, let's... Uh, oh, do we have anything to garrison here? No, we don't. So, I think we need to swap a few of these guys around. Are they going to be happy if we do this? They're going to be incredibly upset. I think you're just going to have to garrison it, my friend. Unfortunate for you, but... Yeah, 50%. It's not good. 50% is not good. Let's get rid of this shrine. This does give 10% law, though. Hmm. Well, we'll, uh, we'll go for Dionysus. And then, uh, do they have rams? They don't yet. So we can actually just go and siege down Bisanthe. There we go, without having to worry. And two towns have now expanded. Awesome. Akylos. Let's go for that. And Madu Tenno Polis. Fantastic. That is what enslaving does to uh, your empire, guys. It grows it very quickly. <laughs> now I think we will go for this battle. I think it's worth it, honestly. And now we actually have an another archer. That would be very useful. Let's get you in there. We've got you guys. Hmm. Let's go you guys over here. We've got these guys in Adrissa too, so we might as well get them into the army. So, do we want to do we want to recruit any more? I mean, look at this army. What do we need? Probably four archers would be good. I mean, four archers or four on fire foroi. I think I'd choose the run fire foroi, but the archers have been very useful, especially against Thracians. More run fire foroi. <laughs> We'll get the archers up here. And then we'll get the long spearmen. And then do we want to build anything else? Well, we do. We don't have the money to, though. And then Corellopolis, which, of course, was one of the settlements as a level four. But we don't have any recruitment buildings in there. Let's go for that there. Dionysus. Uh, are these guys ready to siege down? They don't even have a ram. So I'm willing to wait to see if this Melsos the Builder army moves away. That would be uh, that would be perfect result for us, honestly, if they did that. So let's uh, again press the end turn and see if Byzantion wants to do anything. Actually, we should get a ship. Yeah, there we go. Wait, one turn for the ship now? I thought ships were two turns, but apparently it's one turn for the ship now. Okay, interesting. I didn't realize that was part of the update. Ah, <laughs> oh, Kabile. Can you just stop being annoying? That would be lovely. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> great. Yep. Uh, I mean, we're not going to beat that, are we? <laughs> At least they got to retreat, to be fair. Another candidate for adoption. And this guy is intelligent and charismatic. So, of course, we shall take him. Where is he? He's in Byzantium. And, uh, yeah, everyone's very, very upset over here. <laughs> I wonder if leaving one of them in will make them happier or more upset. So, 50% with that guy. How about with this guy? 50%. And then with both of them? 50%. Okay. Neither way. We just kind of need a garrison troop around this way, don't we? What I'm going to do, guys, I am just going to auto-resolve this again. 100 lost. No, uh, no problem with that. We did actually have rioting in Adrissa as well, which is a bit stupid of me, to be fair. <laughs> 
Uh, and Byzantium. Yep, yeah, like we've said, Adrissa. Uh, and we're besieged everywhere. Great. That's what we love to see. <laughs> um, so what I'm thinking of doing... You need to come down here to become a garrison there. And we need to go and take out Chalcodon, but I also need to beat these two armies. But that should be fine. I don't think this is an issue. That's more of an issue. Ooh! Especially mercy, mercenary Tralian infantry. They're fantastic. They are incredibly good. I don't think we get access to them. I think they are Byzantion's um, elite unit. I believe they're, yeah, no, sorry, Bithynia's elite unit. So interesting they got them all the way up there. But uh, that's fine. Let's do a little bit of building, guys. Let's uh, finish off on some building. And I'm thinking, yeah, Suthopolis, if we get a thousand gold from mining, let's just pop that in there. That's going to be very, very good for us going forward. And we are still recruiting everywhere. Good. Well, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So uh, I hope you did enjoy. It's been an interesting episode. It's not been crazy, but it's been very, very interesting. Please do like and subscribe, guys. It does really help the channel out. Comment down below any suggestions you've got going forward. But finally, we have unified sort of actual Thrace, Thrace proper. And we just need to take out these couple of little armies, take out Chalcodon, um, and then bounce back up to the north to fight the last remaining four settlements of Pontic Pentapolis, um, which should be interesting. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always, and I will see you all again on the next video.